Hola amigos y amigas, you are now with Dresseline and I'm so grateful you are here. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you are new here, welcome as well. If you enjoy lifestyle, spirituality, self-development, journaling, and all of that good stuff, then make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my weekly videos and you join in on this beautiful growing community. In my recent relationships q a video i got asked something along the lines of what my personal approach to dating is and part of what i shared in that video is that you know when i find myself feeling open to putting myself back out there in that way again and you know feeling eager to align with my life partner I am not someone who actively goes out seeking this relationship or this person. I don't use dating apps either, but I do start cultivating this energy of eagerness and openness through journaling and through affirmation and envisioning and prayer. And so I figured it would be fun for me to share eight journaling prompts, reflective prompts that have to do with exactly this, that have to do with us cultivating this energy of openness and eagerness to align with our life partner to manifest and experience the healthy relationship that we deserve and i want to make it clear that these prompts aren't solely for those who are monogamous or straight these prompts are for again all of us who are simply deeply desiring to experience a healthy love a healthy relationship and these prompts are going to touch on things that are important to acknowledge in healthy relationships so we're gonna talk about values we're gonna talk about um accountability we're gonna talk about conflict so i'm excited to share these prompts with you Without further ado, y'all, let's get into these eight journaling prompts and let's start cultivating this energy and manifest this partner, these partners, this relationship, these relationships that we deserve. What lessons have I learned from past relationships and will keep in mind in this relationship? I know you know this, but it's so important that we aren't going from one relationship to another relationship to another relationship, repeating the same cycles, receiving the same lessons over and over and over again, realizing that we're actually just manifesting the same experience because we haven't actually learned the lesson being made known to us and integrating them and really keeping them in mind into our new experiences. So what are some of these really integral significant lessons you've learned from your past relationships that you want to make sure you honor in your new relationship so that you are manifesting a new cycle, a new experience, a new relationship that comes with new lessons and these are lessons that you may have learned about yourself, that you've learned about what healthy relationships require. What are some of these lessons for you? Write them down, affirm to yourself that you have learned them, that you are integrating them, that you are honoring them, and that you will keep them in mind in the future. So let's get into writing down what lessons we've learned and we'll keep in mind in the relationship to come. What standards am I worthy of my partner meeting and I'm confident in meeting myself? I feel so many people question on whether having boundaries is good or is bad or if their standards are too high or if they need to lower them or if perhaps they're being too strict on their standards. And I feel like we're asking the wrong questions. I feel like it's not about whether standards are good or bad or if your standards are too high or if you need to lower them or if you're being too strict on them. It's all about can you yourself meet and reflect the standards that you are expecting from your partner, that you are upholding for your relationship. And so this prompt is not only acknowledging that yes, you are worthy of having standards. 
and you are worthy of having a partner that meets these standards. But it's also acknowledging that it's important that we ourselves hold ourselves accountable in meeting those standards. So let's reflect on all of this, right? Let's affirm that yes, we're worthy of having these standards and writing these standards down and what it is that we desire in our partner but also ask ourselves at the same time, if we truly feel confident in meeting these standards and if we don't feel fully confident in meeting the standards that we desire in our partner, are we actively working on ourselves to meet these standards, right? Because we're all a work in progress and that's okay. So what are these standards for you? And personally, y'all, I do feel like having standards is important because we do reach a level in our self-development to where we do deserve to have a partner that meets us where we're at, right? That has done the self-work that we've done, that has, you know, developed themselves um, as much of, as much as we've developed ourselves or, you know, can some, some way and somehow just kind of meet us there right so we're not you know kind of holding ourselves back in any way shape or form if that makes sense but let's get into these standards and let's just hold ourselves accountable and making sure that we ourselves can meet these standards what core values will my partner and i be rooted in my friends, values and knowing what our values are is incredibly, incredibly important because the way in which we move in life is a reflection of our values. And we don't all share the same values, right? We all have different core values. And it is, again, incredibly important that when we are building a new relationship with someone and especially if we are aspiring for this relationship to experience longevity and for this person this partner to be our life partner like we want to make sure that we share and we reflect the same core values so what are these core values for you i really want you to get to know what your core values are so that you know what kind of core values you want your partnership to be rooted in and to be built upon, right? So what are these core values for you that you would really, really love and you would really be excited to share with your life partner? Describe the perfect date with your partner. And I want you to be as detailed and specific as possible with this one. Really with all journaling prompts, I'm always encouraging that you all are being as specific and detailed as possible. But really dream big, y'all. Don't hold yourselves back. I don't want you to start thinking about, you know, budget or it's not realistic because it includes traveling to Greece and, you know, having spaghetti on this terrace or whatever. Like, I really just want you to allow yourself to use your imagination and really just think about what the most perfect ideal date with your partner looks like and feels like and tastes like and smells like and sounds like. Use all the five senses to assist you in making, again, this answer very detailed, very specific and have fun with it, okay? Maybe this is a date that you've experienced in the past and you'll make little tweaks or perhaps this is the perfect date that you've always dreamt of having and you've never experienced before. But you will, because you're manifesting it, right? And we're starting here, we're starting now by writing it down. So describe the perfect date with your partner and to take it even a little further, I want you to explain why is it that this is a perfect date for you? Like if it starts at 5.30 a.m., and it's like an all day thing, or it involves a trip, or maybe even friends are involved. Like what is it that these elements make it perfect for you? And perhaps you'll learn a thing or two about yourself and what it is that you appreciate and value in quality time. 
How will my partner and I hold ourselves and each other accountable? When I think of a partnership, I think of a team, right? Teammates. And when I think of a healthy, strong team, I think of a team that holds each other accountable and each player in that team holds themselves accountable. And this is what is required in a healthy, strong partnership as well, right? I'm sure for those of you who have experienced, you know, past romantic relationships, um, you have perhaps experienced relationships that needed more loving, honest accountability within yourselves and with each other. And so I want us to reflect on this and how that would show up, right? How will accountability show up for yourself, for your partner, in your relationship, and again just like how we are holding ourselves accountable for you know meeting the standards that we seek in our partner we're also holding ourselves accountable in our accountability right it's so so important that we are looking in the mirror when it comes to our relationship and when it comes to life so let's get into how you and your partner will hold yourselves accountable and will hold each other accountable in a healthy, loving, supportive way. How will we handle conflict and how will conflict affect us? The truth of the matter is, y'all, is that conflict in life is inevitable and inescapable. Even the healthiest of relationships experience conflict. And all conflict is going to affect you and your partner and your relationship in some way, shape, or form. But the control that we have, we may not be able to control whether or not we experience conflict, but we can control how we respond to conflict both individually and collectively. So how will you and your partner handle conflict and how, let's affirm, how conflict will affect you? How will my partner and I exemplify a healthy relationship? I want you to get excited as you journal this prompt. I want you to really feel like this healthy partnership is manifesting, is your reality, is your dream come true. And I want you to really envision you and your partner or partners. Again, these prompts are for all of us seeking healthy love and healthy relationship, whether it's with one partner or more than one partner, whatever the case may be. I really want you to envision you and your partner having a healthy relationship, a healthy dynamic, and being that example of a healthy relationship, healthy dynamic for others. And what does that look like? How would you define that? How does it make you feel being in this kind of relationship, knowing that you are this beautiful example, this beautiful light for others, right? So how does that show up for you? How do you define this? And again, I want you to get excited about it. I want you to really feel like this partnership is manifesting for you as you are writing this down. Describe a tradition you're excited to create and share with your partner. We are continuing to build our excitement off of the last prompt into this last prompt I'm sharing with you. And I feel like we have acknowledged, you know, some of the really significant integral aspects of a healthy relationship in these prompts but let's also you know acknowledge some of the really beautiful aspects that come with a life partnership and one of them is traditions traditions are so beautiful and i want us to have fun thinking about a tradition we're excited to create and share with our partner and this can be a tradition for the holidays a tradition for an anniversary a tradition that 
is for the whole family, right? So what is this one tradition for you? And if you feel extra inspired and you want to keep going and talk about other traditions, more than one, have at it, have fun, get excited. Again, be detailed, be specific. And this is just a really beautiful prompt to be thinking about. And one of those prompts that you will inevitably bring up to the partner that you are manifesting. And that, my friends, are the eight journaling prompts to manifest your life partner, to align to the healthy relationship that you deeply desire and that you deeply deserve, to cultivate that energy of openness and eagerness, to experience all that you've journaled about through these prompts. I hope that you've enjoyed them. I hope that these prompts brought forth clarity for you and excitement. And again, you are so worthy and deserving of all that you wrote down. May we continue to hold ourselves accountable and may we continue to invest time and energy into self-inquiry like this in getting to know ourselves and our needs and our desires and our values so that our manifestations are intentional. I'm so excited for you all to come into these manifestations that you've been journaling about, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Thank you all so much again for being here, for allowing me to guide you in your reflections, in your journaling, in your manifestations, and cheers to healthy relationships, y'all. May we know them, may we be them, may we manifest them, may we cultivate them, may we nurture them, and may we heal ourselves so that we can truly attract them and bring them to life. So again, thank you for being here. See you in my next video. Bye!